dog is playing with his toy. <laughs> In today's video, I am bringing to you radiation tips and fashion for the breast cancer patient. Blackbird, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, I post weekly videos about my life, which is that I am a breast cancer survivor and I'm currently finishing my second breast cancer journey. So um, I have lots of information on that experience. Um, I'm also a mom to a toddler and baby, so you'll see a lot of them, some mom life stuff and some family vlogs with my awesome husband. Uh, so welcome. Uh, today's video is um, I just finished like my second week of radiation. So I started last Wednesday, so it's, it's been eight days. But um, if you watched last week's video, I share with you how radiation is starting to go. I take you into the cancer center. I show you a little sneak peek of like the table uh, that you'll be laying on, you know, and um, changing into a gown, all that stuff. Um, two videos before that, I show you some of these markings that I had done. So at my cancer center, this is what they're doing for radiation in 2021. Um, so different than when my mom, who's also a breast cancer survivor two times like me, um, different than when she had little like tattoo dots done um, for radiation in 1997. So now they put they're using like Sharpie markers to mark stuff and then they put this clear like medical grade tape over it. So I can shower, um, I've even swam. I'm not supposed to like swim a lot or something, but um, it's been fine. And when you're doing radiation, you're likely doing it Monday through Friday like I am. I'm doing six weeks, so 30 sessions is the plan. But I feel much better this week. Like I feel just normal energy this week and I've been feeling my good. My body um, got over the initial hump of radiation. Um, it could be like chemo, which is that it gets worse as it goes. So that's something I'll have to pay attention to. Um, but I just feel good this week and I'm just going to ride that wave. So that's kind of what this journey is like. All right, let's get into my tips for radiation. This is just kind of laying out, um, my tips and I kind of mentioned this in other videos, but I want to state them clearly for you guys. So tip number one, is this all has to do with hydrating the skin during radiation. Um, so tip number one, you're going to want to put something on every morning to hydrate your skin. My radiation nurse gave me this to put on in the morning. So this is aloe vera gel. This, you'll notice this is not the green kind we grew up with. I guess they do like no color added now. Um, but you can put this on the skin every morning. So you're going to put it on the skin. They said to try and avoid the stickers again. So you're, they say it's like finger painting. Um, put it on the skin. This is where my lumpectomy was. This is where my cancer was. So I kind of start here, come up. But I do the whole breast area because they're radiating the whole breast area. And then radiation goes through your body. So you can also get skin irritation, redness, um, you know, um, and pain. I don't, it hasn't really been painful, but it does feel irritated um, all the way here. So you want to put it all in this area. Number two, you want to put something on every night. And at night, uh, just to switch it up, they recommended doing this, some ointment. This is Aquaphor. It's like the cutest little one ever. Um, and they did say this at night because if you put this on during the day, it can stain your clothes because it's greasy. So use this one at night and use it with pajamas or whatever you sleep in um, that you do not care about. So don't wear your nice satin pajamas and put this uh, on. Tip number three, uh, now, if your skin is starting to feel irritated or some pain, you might want to consider a third option for ointment. And this company reached out to me and um, it looks really legit and I've used this as needed so far and really liked it. So you can get an ointment that can help with pain. This is by Camwell. It's herb to soothe. It's oncologist formulated. And there's nothing in here that um, extra, like no parabens and no triclosan. So the ingredients are a lot of just um, natural type stuff, some, herb, some herbal names you'll see. Yes, my dog is growling. Anyways, a small dab goes a long way with this product. They'll tell you literally to put just one little dot of three millimeters in the area that is having some pain or irritation and just kind of smear it on in that area. They don't want you to rub it in because your skin is very, very fragile at this time. So you want to be very gentle. So I think this is a great option and I've used it as needed and I'll continue to use it as needed. So I will put a link to this product down below because this is so unique. 
Um, you can also find them on Instagram. All right. All right. Tip number four, along the lines of staying hydrated, I'm a big believer in hydrating from the inside out. So you want to drink a lot of water. I have this, I refill this probably three times a day. This is a large Yeti. Um, and something about drinking with water with a straw, I swear you drink more. So, um, just be mindful that you're drinking a lot of water. You should be drinking a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot. you should be drinking a lot of water anyways if you are a cancer patient because if you are doing chemo, I'm a firm believer in staying hydrated. Um, if you're not, you'll notice that you don't feel well. Number five, um, the radiation nurse uh, said not to use antiperspirant deodorant in the area on the side that they're doing radiation. So you wanna make sure your deodorant is aluminum free and zinc free, no metallics, because that can irritate the skin. So um, these, this is an example of deodorants I use right now. This company sent me this, Zion Health. I'm really digging their silk one here because it just glides right on and it doesn't irritate at all. Um, you have to reapply, I, I feel like though, with natural deodorants, so just be aware of that. Um, and then just here's another example of a aluminum free deodorant. You can find this at Target. And I've been using this one for a while now, for years. And then my next tips are everything to do with fashion. So let's get into it. Um, okay, let's get into it. So because you'll likely have a lot of stickers like me, if you wear V-necks, um, it's kind of annoying because everybody's going to see this and you're going to go to the store and work and be like, hi, here's me with markers. Yes, my cancer patient. Um, I don't know. So anyways, like all of this, like this all, look guys, look my hair is growing back. This is for, shout out to everybody that's been following me on this journey, thank you. Um, you can go back and see my chemo hair loss video, but this is, I counted 10 weeks after chemo has been done. And look at the growth guys, it's growing. I think I was most excited about eyebrows, but that's so just anyways, me. you'll want to probably wear things that are high neck. So here's an example of a tank tap, tank top that's high neck. This is from Lululemon. I don't always shop there at all. I only own a handful of things, but it's kind of fun because it's got this open back. Look at that. I felt like I needed more high neck options, so I went to Amazon and ordered a couple things that I thought might be nice to have, um, just easy to throw on. Um, so I'm gonna try those on and show those to you now. That being said, this is probably more for like if you're going to dinner or you're running around on the weekend after radiation and you just want something cute that hides these stickers. Let's go try on these ones I ordered and see how they look though. All right, so I'm gonna try on this. This is a romper I ordered from Amazon and it just has a straight neck, so I think that'll be great for running around. And then these are two halter, high neck halter rompers I ordered from Amazon. I ordered two colors because I can never decide. But black, I think, is always nice. You can dress black up easily or down. So you can dress this up with wedges or you can dress it down with flats or even um, white sneakers are really in the summer. So I'm gonna try on that and show you. And then I got it in another color. Cause like I said, I couldn't decide. So um, I'm gonna try these on and show you how they look. Okay guys, so this is the one that has the like high boat neck and I love that because look how high my stickers come up. I mean, it's to like my collarbone and it takes nothing to hide it with this. So this is great. This also comes with ties on the side so you can tie it as high as you want um, to kind of hug your booty and it's a romper. So this kind of can hide a little pooch which I have from the babies having the baby so you can, if you kind of do that, pooch, pooch gone. <laughs> you know, so make sure you put that in the right place there. Um, yeah, this would be great. Here's the next romper. So this is that high neck kind of halter here. So there's no way you're gonna see any stickers with this guy. And um, even with the armpit area, it comes up really well too. So you can't really see my scar of my lumpectomy. It hides it pretty good. So that's nice. Um, yeah, it's good. It's actually more loose fitting than the other one, right? Cause the, the bottoms don't cinch, but that's nice. Like I don't need to, I don't need to always show, show off the booty. So I like it. This is great. 
Again, I think I could dress this up either with wedges or I could just wear flats or just wear some sneakers. Um, and it's got a very cute back to it. It has two little buttons with elastic band here. So, yes, I approve. And it's just comfortable. Especially being a mom, like, I can't always wear dresses because I'm always, like, bending over to pick up my baby. And um, rompers are a great option, so approve. Here's that same romper, just another color. This is kind of like a dusty blue. Um, yeah, so it's not bright, but again, I kind of like that it's more muted. Um, and it looks good. It's just a comfortable romper. And hello, do you see me putting my hands in the pockets? Everybody loves a good pocket, so pockets are good. Just cute, easy. Um, I think Max approves. Do you need to run out by these? No, but I approve of them. You can find them on Amazon. I will link them down below. Um, I hope you're doing well. Continue to follow me on this journey and subscribe and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.